This morning, Afghan troops and police seemed to be firing at random at an enemy which had already done its terrible worst. A Taliban suicide attacker had set off a huge car bomb during the morning rush hour in the deadliest terrorist incident here in four years. Around 30 were killed and more than 300 injured after an explosion outside the headquarters of the security guards who protect Afghan ministers and VIPs. The Taliban claimed several of its fighters had then fought inside the building, but Afghan police said they had shot dead only one attacker. A suicide bomber came under fire from inside the building and from police forces outside who did not give him the chance to enter. He was killed. Oh. Kabul is not about to fall to the Taliban, but until they accept that, they're in no mood to join peace talks. Instead, they're sowing fear and waging a war of attrition for an Afghan capital they cannot win by force. Most of today's dead and injured were civilians. The UN says 600 civilians have been killed in fighting so far this year after an unusually violent winter with more of the same expected, given that the Taliban announced its annual spring offensive only last week. The windows and glass fell on people. Several people were wounded in the market where I was. The situation was very panicky and tense. The Taliban have grown stronger since most foreign combat troops withdrew at the end of 2014. NATO commanders say up to a third of Afghanistan is threatened by these militants, even if they control just 6% of territory. Their recent gains include much of Helmand province, once a British military zone. But though almost 6,000 Afghan security forces were killed last year, this is a war the Americans won't allow them to lose. Not in the capital anyway, a city bracing for more deadly attacks.